Hi everybody, and welcome to Photo Mike's Garage. What a beautiful day up here in Canada. One of the best places to live, I must say, and of course, also because I've taken Barney the Hellcat out for a little run today, and it's, it's awesome. I love this car and today I decided to make a very quick video on the mods that I've done to my car. Now these mods were done with the idea of it can be returned to stock at any time so nothing too radical and at first glance it looks like I put stripes on the car and that's it but there's lots of little things I did. Uh, some performance hats, enhancements, some appearance enhancements I believe um, and I want to go over that today. Also of course you might want to do some of these mods to your uh, Hellcat as well of course and I will be giving my my grading on a scale of one to five on whether or not this was a good mod to do and how it turned out and whether you should do it or not. Okay I made a list of all my mods uh, because I have the retentive capacity uh, of a rabbit so I can't remember anything at this point. So okay here we go the first thing and number one and one of the most expensive mods I did was leg maker intake let's have a look at that okay we'll just open up the hood here to reveal the goodness the beauty of the hemi engine all hail the hemi all hail uh if there was a ruler you want to be ruled by i think it would be the hemi powerful and benevolent okay leg maker intake right here and as you can see it's beautiful it is handmade uh, they're made to order and this is hand laid carbon fiber it even has some of the imperfections that you might find in a hand laid custom made item handmade item okay and it comes with a nice metal plate that fits right into this space makes it look all neat and tidy underneath the metal plate is a cone filter which maybe i'll show here all right let's go over the pros of the lmi leg maker intake uh, first of all it looks awesome you got carbon fiber carbon fiber everybody still loves that it looks great it looks way better than the ugly plastic uh one which just looks low, low rent low rent i'll put a picture here but here's the big thing it makes a wonderful noise uh, the noise is unfiltered uh, because your air intake is right here you get to hear the beautiful whine of your supercharger now the best thing about a hellcat is that its supercharger makes a lot of noise now the stock intake sort of muffles that a little bit. You can still hear it, but once you get a leg maker, you'll never go back because the noise is glorious. Much better than some other cars. I'm looking at you, Shelby 500. Okay, good. What's the cons? Cons, cons, cons. Yes, there are cons. First of all, it has very little water protection. This plate protects it from water that might come through from rain or washing. The water comes here and then just flows off somewhere. Um, other intakes do a much better uh, job controlling the water. Another thing too is that this element, I don't know if you can see it. Anyway, it's open to the engine heat. Um, it does draw air from right here. There's sort of like a, a trumpet that comes through here, draws air from the front area. It also draws air from around the wheel well area. Uh, the stock one does. This one, those, those openings are still open, but it also draws a lot of air from inside the engine compartment. It's not that far from the exhaust manifold. So I think that actually this might run hotter than a stock intake. And of course, the, uh, the third con is that it's rather expensive compared to other intakes. You can get another intake for around $200. That's pretty efficient. However, this intake is closer to $500 up here in Canada. Okay, so how would I rate this? I'd rate this a four out of five because it looks great and the wine is off the charts. And I love that sound. Uh, it's totally unique about a Hellcat. Look at this, a JLT oil catch can. Uh, this is one of the first mods you should do on any vehicle, any vehicle, whether it's performance or not, if you intend to keep the car for any length of time. This collects the oil that comes off as a vapor and is reintroduced back into your intake on stock vehicles. Uh, that puts oil 
in the rotors of your uh, supercharger. If you have one, it puts oil in intake, which eventually builds up, can uh, block, cause some blockage and problems in the future down the way. Uh, the stock manufacturers don't include this, they should. This is one of the first things you should buy if you have a car you care about. It's easy to install. I have a video where I install this. This is the JLT. It is relatively cheap compared to the rest. I think it looks good. Uh, when I put it on, every fitting was high quality and I'm really happy about it and it actually works. Okay, I have only one con with this and that is the can size is a little bit small for an engine this size. Uh, that means you have to check this more often and uh, change it more often. A larger can would be better, but for the price, this is awesome and I give it a five out of five. Okay, as if a purple Plum Crazy Purple Hellcat is not enough. I had to get even more attention. So one of the first things I did, I added the green stripes. Um, this is sort of like a Barney the Dinosaur look or a Joker look, if you will. And I think it actually works. Most people think it works. It's a little over the top, but if you didn't want attention, you wouldn't have bought the Hellcat in the first place, would you? Anyway, I got this done by a local place uh, in Coquitlam called 37 Wraps. I'll put a link below. Did, uh, he did an excellent job, fantastic work, and I'm very happy with it. And it was not too expensive. A whole wrap would have cost over $3,000 or more. Stripes, 700 bucks. Okay, I give the Stripe Mod five out of five because it attracts attention, but not, but a lot of people love it. A lot of kids love it. If you take this to a car show, the green stripes will attract the little kids. They love this car. Okay, one more thing while we're talking about the stripes, I've also got to mention another mod that was done by the original owner, not myself, but I very much appreciate that he did this, and that is add PPE. PPE stands for plastic something, uh, PPE. Anyway, it stands for something. It stands for protection for your front end. It's a plastic, clear plastic film that you can put on a car, either the whole car or parts of the car, to protect the car from rock chips. And it really works. And it has protected the front end of this vehicle uh, since 2016. And the owner got a front end treatment done, a front bra, if you will. And it goes all around the front and then stops right here. Stops right here. You can just faintly see the line going right across the hood. It starts again here, it does the A-pillars and the front of the roof up to, up to right there. You can just see the line right there. Also, mirror caps. So, I think that any car that you appreciate, any car that is something that you love, you've got to get this done. Now, it does cost money because the plastic film is thicker than a regular wrap and does cost more to do the whole car than a regular wrap. But if you just do the front end, um, you will definitely appreciate it over time. As the rock chips accumulate, this car does have some blemishes in the plastic where rocks have hit, but have not damaged the paint underneath. Very important. Very, very important. Now the cons, well the cons besides the cost, would be the fact that if you did just get the front done, you've got lines that do show up. You see the lines do show up on the stripes right here. So that's the only con to this, otherwise it's what you should do, do it. Uh, my next mod that I did was to get a new rear diffuser. I'll show what the stock one looks like here, and this is a more aggressive but not too aggressive rear diffuser. It was relatively cheap, I believe under $200. Installation was easy and it looks awesome. Um, I believe that the Hellcats, the rear diffuser area is just smooth. There's no, no, nothing going on. It's a little bit too tame for such an aggressive car. And I think this adds just the right amount of aggression. It's very simple. It looks good, which of course is the real reason why you're doing this. It's not, it doesn't have any performance difference at all. It just looks awesome. So I'm giving this another five because it was cheap, easy to do, makes a big difference. And it's got two opposable thumbs up from me. Okay, the next mod that I did was to tint the taillights, although I did this in a fairly subtle way. The tint is just this section and this section. I left the track lights alone because I love those and I think they should be showing up. Um, but this was just a, uh, it makes everything look a little bit cooler. They're easy to install. 
I got it from Lux. I'll try and put a link below. Again, cheap, anybody can do it. It makes the car look better. Five out of five, no cons. Okay, so the stripes might be a little controversial for some of you guys, but the wheels might also be controversial. Now, I didn't do this. This was the original owner. I'm the second owner. The original owner uh, at the dealer got them to exchange the satin black Hellcat rims for these uh, black chrome rims that were also available. The exact same size, everything's the same. Even the, the design is the same, it's just the finish. I know a lot of people will like the, uh, the more sinister look of the uh, satin black rims. I can see that point. I can go either way. But I think that this makes the car look a little bit more, well, classy, I suppose you could say, but also a bit more gentle. Um, it's not chrome, it's not too bright, it's black chrome, so it still has a slightly dark look, but it has a little bit of bling, a little bit of shine added to the car. I'm gonna call this a, another five out of five for me personally because I like the look, and it didn't cost me any money, it was, uh, came with the car, and I've always liked it. I don't have a problem with it. Okay, everybody knows that the Hellcat excels at drag racing. It's one of the funnest things you can do. Take your Hellcat drag racing, you won't regret it. I've had a lot of fun, made a few videos recently on the fun that I had. Now the thing is, is that there's a few weaknesses in the Hellcat platform when it comes to drag racing, especially when you put drag radials on the back and you got extra traction. The rear differentials can crack, at least especially in the earlier years like this Hellcat. And one of the solutions is to put a rear diff brace. I did that. Again, I did it myself. I'll link to a video below where I made a video on how to do that. Again, it was relatively cheap. $250, somewhere around there. Anyway, and it saves your differential, which would be a big bill, and gives you peace of mind when you put the hammer down at the drag strip. So, I will rate a diff brace as a five out of five. It's, if you have a Hellcat, if you're gonna take it drag racing, you're gonna put it on stickier tires, you should get a diff brace. Five out of five. Okay, and of course, related to that is the drive shaft. These cars come with a steel two-piece drive shaft, uh, very high quality, reduces vibrations. What you gotta do if you're gonna go drag racing is to put on a one-piece aluminum drive shaft, which I did, and again, a video where I installed it. I'll put a link below. Again, not too expensive, relatively easy to do. If I can do it, you can do it. And again, if you're gonna go to the drag strip, that is one of the uh, potential faults of the Hellcat is that it can twist the drive shaft, and there's only one con with that. One con is that there's a slight slight humming noise at certain RPMs with the aluminum drive shaft that I've got. That is the only con, it's not that much. Uh, that is the reason why uh, Dodge came out with a two-piece originally was to make sure that it didn't make any noise at all. This one does, it's not extensive, but it is a con, so I'm gonna give this a four out of five stars. I also deleted my mid mufflers. This is a common step. I again made a video on, on that as well and I highly recommend it for all Hellcat uh, guys. You do not have to buy an extensive, expensive system, spend thousands of dollars. All you gotta do is delete your mid mufflers and your car will sound fantastic. It's loud but not too loud. It's great. Let's take a listen right now. Oh, uh, before I start the car, which of course you won't be able to hear me after that, I give it a five out of five. Cost me a hundred bucks and there you go. Remote start, gotta love it. All right, so there you have it. That's my basic mod list for Barney the Hellcat. I may have missed a few mods, but I think I got mostly everything. So. I'm very happy with the mods I did. I think it uh, was uh, relatively cheap, did all the work myself, and yet it makes the car unique and personalized just to me. All right, thanks for watching Photo Mike's Garage. I will see you later.